the difference between releasing and reliving this is something that boy it it was something that i i covered in my teachings really very close to the beginning the difference between releasing a, a trauma releasing a root cause release a, kind of pick your your words whatever labels you ever want whatever you want to put in there as opposed to uh, reliving it and the difference is balance so i'm in alberta canada it is december 21st and it is probably right now it says minus 30 and it's that's celsius and it's probably closer to minus 40 with the wind roads are icy uh, you're driving down the highway now when the roads are bad you're driving down the highway middle of winter maybe it's a blizzard all your focus is on keeping that car on the pavement right you're, you're not if it's really bad you're not engaged in any conversation you're you're not you know playing around with the radio you're just focused on that highway so i can't do anything else right now i just got to keep my damn car on the highway and you get other people on the highway and the whole thing right so i can't focus on anything else right now because i'm busy trying to keep my car on the highway now you get through the icy spot or the, maybe you drive out of the snowstorm or whatever and now the highway is dry the weather's you know pretty good and all that kind of stuff now now you can maybe start to carry on a conversation with somebody beside you or, you know, I don't know, change the radio station or, or whatever it may be. But you're not going to do that until you've got your balance. You're not going to do that until you've got, okay, the car's on the road. I'm good. I'm balanced, right? I don't have to watch out for ice. I'm okay. Now I can focus on these other things. And that's the difference between releasing and reliving a trauma again or a root cause however you want to articulate that the first thing to do is to get your balance before you start to focus on whatever this trauma may be so how do you know whether you got your balance or not well you know you have your balance because you can focus on the thought, on the memory, on the voices in your head, whatever the, the manifestation of that trauma are, without getting caught up in the emotions related to it. Okay? See, again, there's a difference between sort of experiencing what an emotion is, observing an emotion, how it feels, and having it kind of take over your present moment experience. And we've all had this. You're going along, you're having a really good day, things are flowing really good. This thought pops out of nowhere or something like that. And it's like, ugh, it triggers this emotion and your whole day just goes for crap. Right? You were doing really good and all of a sudden your whole day went for crap. Well, that's the same thing as you're driving the car, you're doing really good. All of a sudden you hit ice and you're in the ditch. Right? That is not in balance. So when that happens... That's not the time to explore the trauma, to talk about the trauma, even to work on releasing the trauma because you're not in balance right now. And if you try and do that, what you're going to end up doing is essentially reliving it or giving it more power, giving it more momentum. So when that happens is not the time to work on releasing it because you can't, because you don't have your balance. If you do have your balance, here comes a thought, here comes a memory, and maybe even the sensation, right? The, the emotion. But it doesn't, it doesn't take your day from having a pretty good day to like the world's going to end. See the difference? You'll, you still may feel it, right? But it hasn't taken you from here, right, down to here. Now, because you've got your balance, right? And I'm on a clean highway and it's all good and everything. Now you can start to use whatever techniques you want to use. Maybe you start to explore. Maybe you go, so why is it that that memory has such a charge to it? Or why is it these flavors of voices in my mind keep coming up on certain occasions or with certain triggers or stuff like that? So you can begin to explore it and work with it. But, and now you're going to be able to release it. But the reason it's releasing now is because you've still got your balance. When those triggers happen and you feel the voices, the first thing you go, okay, am I in balance? And if so, I maybe want to explore these. 
oh God, no, it's going to knock me right off my feet, going to ruin my day, then don't explore them anymore. Then use whatever techniques you do to get you back onto the highway. Don't try and fix it because it's not going to fix. You're just going to give it more of your attention and you really are going to end up reliving it. 